Hey guys, Waller D here. We're back for more or Green Time Master Quest. And what's up, Epona? Jeez, stop going crazy. Well, yeah, we are now at back at the Gerudo's Fortress, and now we're gonna go into the Gerudo's Training Ground. And the Training Ground is a very interesting, optional dungeon that you can take. But of course, these these ladies are trying to make their own money, and they're trying to make it by robbing me of ten rubies. Yeah, why don't you just take? Yeah, buy something nice with those ten rubies. Oh wait, you can't. I'm sorry, everything costs at least 20, bitch. But yes, we're gonna go into the Gerudo's training ground, or I guess, in this case, Gerudo training ground. And this dungeon's very interesting, because their mini dungeon is interesting, because A, you can actually save here, and you will actually start at the beginning of this place. However, this, map, this mini dungeon doesn't have a map that you can obtain at all. And of course, what you want to do here, for simplistic reasons, is dense fire, because... You have that situation where, hey, two torches are right next to me. I wonder what I should do. Well, obviously, bust this shit open. Mm. There we go, and that should make something drop, or something open up, not drop down. So we used to everything else. So yes, do that for f first and foremost, and then pull out your arrows and look around a bit. Ah, there we go. So you want to just aim up here real fast. Bam! Now unlock the arrow, open up that other door. Now you have now you have options as opposed to earlier where you had shit. And of course it wouldn't be bad to loot this stuff. Of course, especially since I have money to put in my pocket and arrows. That's kind of nice. 40 max now. Fuck yes. And what's in here? Bomb shoes. Okay, that's kind of nice too because I did need some more. Okay, so so far you have those two chests giving you arrows and bomb shoes, so if you're running low on that shit, by all means, take advantage of... Ah, damn it. Defeat all the enemies in a limited time. There's only one guy to game. But you have a minute to defeat him in a sandy area. So this guy's gonna be pretty interesting to fight with. Oh shit. So what it's just doing is just keeping yourself constantly moving. To make sure that you don't slip in the sand here. Of course, Link's not doing a good job. Oh, fuck. Ow. That kind of sucks. Alright. Shit. Okay, that's not a good strategy. I think I'm going to go with the strategy that doesn't get me killed really fast. So don't try to be aggressive here. Try to be... Because with this, the time limit, you might want to do it that way, but... Oh, shit. Not great. This guy's really kicking my ass. Oh, shit. Mmm, <clears throat> punk. Come on, get your ass a moving. Mmm, fucker. Don't be trying to kill me. Like, damn, though. That guy really left a damn mark. Fuck. Yeah, give me them damn hearts. You, I'll need them a lot more than you do. And this better not be fucking rubies. If this is... Fuck you, game. Come on. I don't need rubies. Jeez. Alright, so that's room number one. Here we got another room. Get the jewels of white while avoiding traps and dangers. So I think they might be put, they might have placed some invisible shit in this room. So get this out just in case. Let's see what we got here. Got a ruby in a weird ass spot. I think that one you're gonna have to, ah, damn it. That one you're gonna have to get uh, by falling down on it. And that one's gonna be kind of a tricky one to take care of. And of course, you have nice little freaking icicles flying on your head, shit. And the way this get this one is simple. Just slowly edge yourself off the ledge, like so. Then Link will not fall in the pit. Obviously, if you move with a bit of rashness, you will fall right into that pit and have to redo this whole damn room. Or if you're if you're in a really big rush, you can just get that one last, and I think the door will open up gladly for you. Uh, but yeah, just be careful in this room. It can be very dangerous, and there's a lot of shit that wants to kill you in here, apparently. Now, how the hell do I get that thing? Okay, is there a nice little... Oh, wait, wrong one. Derp. Crap. 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 Alright, so far so damn good, though. Blank it away. Damn, man. Freaking minute and a half, this goes quick. There we go, that's two down. So yeah, you have to be relatively quick. You can't just fuck around. Get the hell out of my way. This guy's hiding a freaking jewel of white. Alright, got not too much time left. Fuck. Shit, 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 shit. Ah, damn it. Wrong access point. Crap. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Yeah, looks like I'm not getting this one in the time limit. So yeah, these rooms can be quite tricky. 
Well, how the game's like, oh, by the way, fuck you. Yes, I know, game, don't need to tell me. So, yeah, you definitely have to bust your ass on this one. You can't just slouch and hope to God you're gonna get this. So, in order, in the order of uh, time and value, get this one first because it's obviously easiest. If you do want to waste your time edging o over here, you can get this one second. I mean, it's not hard. Just try to try to t take that nice and slow. And then what you want to do is you want to head up here so you can get past the whole bullshit. Heck, you might even try to grab this one third because it can be kind of annoying, actually. So yeah, try to make your jump. Try to judge where it is. Here's three. And then... <coughs> And then you want to head up over here, and to the right. Then, try to snatch this one up, and try to try to position yourself in such a way where you're lined up with the, uh... with the, uh, ruby and the, uh, hookshot point. Otherwise, that could end pretty nastily for you. And this guy should give me the gold. Fuck it. No, don't try to be freezing my ass. There we go. Fuck yes. And, of course, once you grab them all, gl time gladly stops for you to re... Recollect yourself and and pat yourself on the back. Fuck yes. Alright, we'll go in this next room. Oh shit. And defeat all the enemies in a limited a time. With all the enemies. Ah, damn, man. Are you serious? Two Stalfos and a Skulltula in t a minute? Okay, three Stalfos Skulltulas and two Stalfos. Bitch. Fuck. So yeah, try to not rush yourself here again. Try to be smart. Shit. Damn it. Because this game definitely is going to challenge you here. Try to get your stabs in if you can. Dick. Come on. Mmm, punk. That's one down. Where's the other? Alright, take care of you. And you're next. Shit, dick. Punk? Yeah. An er, Anti-to air to your ass. Okay, you're just being a dick today. And I'm just pr being used to fucking Zelda all of a sudden. Damn. Mmm. Mm. Come on, come on. Come on, get your ass a moving. Oh shit. There we go. Oh god. Oh! Oh, come on! I killed him at the last second! Fucking give me credit, game. Shit. Okay, so yes, time is of the essence. He. I think to make things a little bit easier, if you're having trouble with these guys, let's see if light arrows do a good job on these fuckers. And I totally missed. That's not good. So yes, be defensive, but be ag be aggressive and not an idiot here. Damn it! This is not a good place to be. And uh, note that this also, or the hook shot works pretty damn well, but these guys get really damn jumpy. Interesting. I didn't know that they react like that. Mmm, punk. Get out of the way, dick. So yeah, the hookshot works wonders on the Stalfoses, but at the same time, they love the jump and get in your face, so you want to be careful of that. Come on. Come on, get your shit going. <clears throat> come on, asshole. You know you wanted to jump attack me. Come on. God, you're... There. Oh my goodness. This is going to come down to the wire again. Shit. Shit. Come on, die, 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 die! Fuck! Man, you're such an ass game. Okay, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Okay, let's do it. What the f- The f- Okay, that's new. I never would have guessed- Oh, you failed the room. Lose a heart, bitch. So yeah, be careful of that. So, that was interesting, and I'm running out of fucking... I don't have a fairy. Thank God I got that fairy. Whew! Okay, first thing foremost. Wait, did I fuck up? Did I, glitch, did I just glitch the room out? Yeah, I did. Huh. Well, I'm gonna leave and come back. Let's see what the, how this works. Okay, about to say. It's like, uh, things just don't disappear. Okay, what the fuck's happened? Uh, I'm really stumped all of a sudden. Just look how I glitch shit out, guys. I don't know how it works, but it just happens. Alright, so what you want to do here is you want to push this forward. Now that since I guess the game gave me mercy in the dumbest way, it's like, we'll kill you, then you don't have to do this shit anymore. 
I, so I guess that kind of helps. Cool, I'm kind of glad for it. Oh, what the hell is this shit? Crap. Damn it. Luckily these guys can't get out of their pits, apparently. Well, let's, let me help them die faster, bitch. Mmm. <clears throat> But it looks like they were actually able to get out of their damn pits. So let's see if this stuns these. Mm. And this guy sh behind, or this guy up here should be hiding some nice valuables. Or at least he will be hiding some values if you get the key after killing everybody. But there's no significant time or significant challenge here. Let's see what we get here. Ah, oh God, 50 rubies. Damn it! Didn't want that. Whatever. Alright, so we killed everybody in that room, and apparently I killed everybody in this room now. And this is what Navi's trying to tell you. It's like, you can do something here, Link. Well, obviously I can, Navi. Shut the fuck up. But then again, she has actually helped me out. So I think, which is just playing the Song of Time. Because <clears throat> I think this will make a time clock appear, and then if you use the Lens of Truth, you can see where you have to go next. So let's get this into existence. And then have that wonderful music of success play for you, as always. And then whip out your frickin', uh... There we go, that's what we're looking for. Let's see what we got up here. Okay, we got a big, icy wall. Uh, game, this better not be something that I'm gonna be needing, like, you know... Or did I fuck things up or something? Oh, right, obvious thing is obvious. So yeah, if you... If you see that nice block of, or a wall of ice, you would know that you would need to scoop up some blue fire. And then you're gonna have to take that shit up there and cool that shit, or and melt that shit down. Damn, though. This has been the weirdest room, or the weirdest experience through the Gerudo training ground ever. Dying, glitching the game up, etc, etc. So melt that wall of ice, and we can see what's in the next room. Ooh, big ass room, damn. And of course, I think this door is not going to be re or is going to be very um, agreeable because I think you have to come down here and do shit. Let's see what we got to do. Blind the eyes of the statue. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to do some more Hi Legends of the Hidden Temple here, and I'm going to have to freaking poke out some eyes with arrows. And I don't think this is much different. You just have to do it. Just try to be accurate as you can. I don't know if there's a time constraint here, but we'll find out in a moment. There's three. They... Oh crap, I heard a noise. That means these things come back to normal, I'm guessing. Nope! Nope, they just drop down just like normal. Fuck yes. And what you can do here is you can just, uh... If you want to get that chest without having to waste so much time, you can just hit this spot right here, and Link will just go up here and then you can hook shot up here and I think you can grab the chest. Let's see if I'm right here. Hey, chest, where the hell are you, buddy? Do, 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 do. Damn it, where the hell is the chest? Oh, it's over there. Derp. Fuck! And that almost would me have me have to redo this whole room. Damn. Better not be jewels. Hey, bomb chew, something I care about. Sweet. Alright, so I can't do much more in this room, unfortunately. I would love to, but... As you can see, that door up there is kind of locked, and holy shit. Ah, damn it, not another time challenge. Defeat all the enemies in limited time. Oh, what I was just doing is fucking this guy up. Hmm. And then I would suggest fucking up this other guy. And then take out your aggression on the frickin' Iron Knuckle, hopefully in a short amount of time. Fuck. Mmm, punk. Alright, buddy. Shit! Ow, gotta remember, you're gonna always do that. So let's just poke. Mmm! Oh, fuck. There we go, now we got that armor of all. That unattractive armor of yours, buddy. Mm. Oh, shit. Mmm, and you're dead. So that takes care of his ass. Thank goodness. Good job, Link. You solved the, you solved your troubles. And what did we make up here? If it's rubies, I'm gonna be uh, livid. Okay, rubies. Not. Thank God, arrows. Something useful. And then we're gonna hit this switch real fast. And what does this do? Oh, it makes that disappear. Well, what's the point? Oh, I see what I had to do here. 
Miss the target. Okay. There we go. You want to hit that? It makes that chest appear, but I'm not... Tr I'm... Okay, thank God. I just thought far was going to come out. Hey, it's a fucking key! About damn time. It's like been only, you know, a long-ass while before I seen one. And we're back to... Ah, oh, shit. This room is a total ass, guys. There is just nothing good about this room here. So let's hit this switch and see what we have to do here. Makes all the fire disappear, I'm assuming, or not. What the hell did that do? Confused and concerned. Damn it. Well, well we can't really jump on any of the platforms, so I guess we're going to just have to hook shot across. Sounds fine with you guys? I hope so. So let's go over here real quick and see what we can accomplish. Which apparently looks like is going to be nothing at this point. Oh! I have a plan. Since that torch is unlit, let's take advantage of it. Mm, let's see what this does. It makes everything disappear. But I think the problem here is that you're going to have to be fast, and apparently guys are jumping out of the lava. Fun. And I'm guessing I'm going to have to make this jump. Fuck. It would probably be helpful to put on your iron or your hover boots at this point, because uh, making these jumps are just a matter of you... N not... or you... Not, what the hell? And there goes my life. Fuck. So yeah, you're going to have to obviously be quick. Because it lasts as long as that flame is lit. And I don't know how... And the problem is you don't know how long that flame is lit. So let's try this again. Shit. With more success. Try to have the... Try to find your path through here as quickly as you can. Shit. And of course, watch out for the damn bubbles making a nice little potaboo like this. Attempt. Shit. Okay. Think I know how to do this now. After two wonderfully fail failure attempts, I think I might have this down. Let's try it. Okay, first off, I'm gonna hit, hit this. Then next, I'm gonna hit this t hook shot thing over here. Very slowly. Okay, extremely slowly. Damn, man. Don't you, don't you just love that? Okay, and then I'm gonna try to do this shit in a matter manly, timely manner. Fuck. And if you feel like you're running out of time, just try to keep that. Well, I love how I shoot it right as the flame goes out. Fuck you, game. Seriously. Okay, plan better. Hook this. Then shoot the flame. Or then shoot the torch. Then do the running. Okay, we got this. At least I hope we got this. Mm. Okay, do the running now. Do the running and then hopefully falling on the target. Shit. Ugh. Come on, Link. Shit. And if you feel like you're running out of time, try to get to this fourth one and then take a break. Of course I fuck up. Eh, perfect. Okay, so I have that much time. Alright, so try to take a break midway through so that way you can claim it. Crap. Then do some more of this. And then it should open that door finally. So try to hookshot yourself up here as soon as you can. Fuck. Man, that's close. And it looks like it made some nice little hookshot things appear in the lava. Sweet. So I don't have to bust my ass now. It's even more sweet. And that was dumb. Please tell me that door is unlocked. Thank God. So yeah, if you if you solve this little nice little room puzzle, uh, you don't have to bust your ass anymore. Sounds nice to you. And we are running out of time too, guys. So next time we'll explore more of the Gerudo training ground. How much have we done so far? I can't really say, but we are making some good progress, I think. So next time, guys, more Gerudos or more training ground. Adios.